Welcome to VicVet's special presentation, this week titled, How to Get Rich on Autopilot. My name is Todd Schaefer, Manager of Research at VectorVest, and I'll be your presenter this evening. Building your wealth doesn't have to be difficult or complicated. Unfortunately, we often get knocked off track by listening to all the media noise and letting our emotions get the better of us. What if you had an autopilot to help you stay on course? Wikipedia offers a useful definition of an autopilot. It's a system used to control the trajectory of an aircraft without constant hands-on control by a human operator being required. Autopilots do not replace human operators, but instead they assist them in controlling the aircraft. This allows them to focus on broader aspects of operation, such as monitoring the trajectory, weather, and systems. With a few simple tweaks, I modified that definition for our purposes. A system used to control the trajectory of a portfolio without constant hands-on control by a human operator being required. Autopilots do not replace human operators, but instead they assist them in controlling the portfolio. This allows them to focus on broader aspects of operation, such as monitoring the portfolio performance, market conditions, and stock trades. In his essay of last week, Dr. Toledo mentioned cherry-picking Midas Touch stocks and also mentioned how cherry-picking high RS and buy-rated stocks is really easy. And I thought, what a great idea. I wonder how it would do on autopilot. So I built a case study using high RS buy-rated Midas Touch stocks. I created a new custom search by simply modifying an existing Midas Touch search, added rec equals buy and RS descending, and I've run it on today's date. And I'm guessing you probably recognize some of the names at the top of the list, but let's see how they perform. Last week, senior instructor Patrick France demonstrated how we can use Quick Test to test the performance of top derby searches. So instead of repeating his presentation, I'm going to test these stocks using Quickfolio. So let's rerun our search on the last confirmed up call. So if I open the calendar, from the quick dates, I can select our last up call, click OK, and let's run the search. But this time, instead of using the quick test function, I'll use the quick folio function, and we'll quick folio the top 10. We'll just let it be called quick folio 1. I'm leaving all my defaults, no commissions. I need to tell that we're buying the positions long. Let's click OK and let's open that portfolio and let me minimize my toolbar now quick folios unlike back tests always run to current they don't have an adjustable end date but unlike quick tests it shows me what happened between points A and B I can see the equity curve and I can see that our equity curve peaked here on the 5th of April at 11% and it pulled back with the market softening to its current value of 3.98%, which is what the quick test would have showed me as my end result. I can also look at the performance of the individual stocks, pull that up a little bit, and I can see if I look at the ROI column to the end date, I had five winners and five losers. Let's sort them by their ROI. My biggest gainer, eHealth, gained 34 and a quarter percent. Vanda Pharmaceuticals, my biggest loser, 47%, far outstripping the other stocks that pulled back in the time frame. So obviously with some portfolio management, I would probably have stopped out of that position. It might have improved the performance overall. So these stocks show some great potential over the last market turn. But that begs the question, how would they have done over time? To know that, we could run multiple tests over several time frames. I could run multiple quick tests or quick folios or even back tests. My tool of choice is the back tester because like our quick folio, I can see how the search performs with its equity curve. But I can also automate the testing over multiple market turns. In fact, for this example, I went all the way back to the beginning of 2016. So we can see for each of these searches, if I look at the backtest settings, I used our special Midas Touch search with no stop criteria, just buying a basket of 10 stocks and holding them to the down signal. 
and we see I did the analysis on the 6th of May. And here's what I found. Using those confirmed calls did very well. 47% winners with a 29% overall gain with a maximum drawdown of 12%. Looking at the equity curve, we can see it did get a little underwater early on in 2016. These horizontal lines are times when the portfolio had gone to cash because of the confirmed down call. But ultimately, the performance of the equity curve did hit higher highs over time, which shows us some good potential. But of course, I found that I could do even better if I used the RT Kicker combo timing system. It found winners 61% of the time, an overall gain of 47%, with a maximum drawdown of 12.6%. So essentially the same drawdown, but substantially better winners and better gains. Looking at the equity curve, it stayed positive throughout 2016 and also continued to hit higher highs. The drawdowns occurred in the current market condition as well as early in 2018. Interestingly, we sat in cash during the correction at the end of 2018. So far, I like the prospects of this approach, but what about a plan for how I should trade it? All trading plans should tell us when to buy, what to buy, and when to sell. So what should be my trading rules? Which is the best timing signal to trade for these guys? I like the RT Kicker combo timing signal based on my testing. I know I'm trading high RS Midas touch stocks, but what stops should I use? Should I take profits or let my winners run? Should I go into cash on a down signal? So let me point out, you face the same questions with or without the use of our autopilot tools. So let's do a case study to see how Vectorvest might help us dial in on some answers. For my first set of tests, I ran some trailing stops and recommendation equals sell to see how letting my winners run would work. So the only change to the settings that I made was to incorporate the use of a stop loss. The performance of the recommendation equals sell test was pretty close to our original performance, although it did make a slight gain or improvement in the maximum drawdown. And you can see the equity curve looks very similar to our base run. But I can also see that the 10% trailing stop, my percentage winners fell a little bit from 61 to 56%, but my gain improved to 49%, and my maximum drawdown improved to 10%. And even more importantly for me, looking at the equity curve, the drawdowns that we saw in the current market condition and the drawdowns that we saw in early January have been greatly improved. So what if I took my profits? I next ran a series of tests using our Profit Locker Pro tool with its default settings. You can see in the naming convention I simply used the templated settings that are already in the program. Looking at the results, the Profit Locker Pro Prudent settings perform pretty well. They improved our percentage winners to 61%, improved our gain to 57%, actually decreased the number of trades we made with a slight increase in our maximum drawdown. Let's take a look at its equity curve. Again, it's not straight up. The equity curve does have pullbacks, but we know the biggest one was 11%. And overall, we keep hitting higher highs over time. Do you see how we're getting closer to our answers? It's not telling us what we have to do. It's telling us what we can do. If you don't have Profit Locker Pro, would you be happy with the performance we saw using a 10% trailing stop? Now, I want you to remember, the backtester is using historical end-of-day data. History is not likely to repeat, at least not exactly. I want to make sure that this still works in the current market. Assuming we're satisfied with historical performance, let's convert this back test into a live portfolio. So if I click on that portfolio, I can hit my convert button and I can convert the back test to a live portfolio in the portfolio manager. And I'm presented with a choice to start completely fresh with an empty portfolio. And of course I can 
adjust those portfolio settings if I like, or I can continue from the end of my back test and let it keep rolling forward. And I'll choose that option because we can all imagine what an empty portfolio looks like, so I'll click OK and I'll open the portfolio now. Our new portfolio is created and listed in the portfolio's toolbar. Of course you can modify the name. By closing the bar, here's the portfolio, the same equity curve we saw, but now we also have reports so that we can review the portfolio's performance. We also have its current status with the Genius Auto Timer activated telling us that we're in a down situation because the RT Kicker combo is in down status. To see the details of the trading system, I click the Details tab and let me drag it over. And with the flag we see that we're currently in the down situation which says go to cash. If I scroll down you can see the settings for the trading plan for the rules when we're up. Coming back to the portfolio, the important piece here is that I want to watch this portfolio continue to trade in real time and see if it still works in the real world. If the plan needs some tweaks, you're only trading paper. That's easy to do. When you're satisfied that it's still working, then you can deploy it in your real portfolio. At this point, your flight plan is created. Let's turn on the autopilot. The portfolio manager will generate alerts in real time that you can execute with your brokerage. If you have an account with one of our partner brokerages, you can link your Vectorvest account to your brokerage account and achieve even better automation. And of course the pinnacle of automation would be to use our RoboTrader tool, but because our portfolio is new and has no trading alerts, let me show you an example of how the system works on a different portfolio. In this example, the portfolio's name is MP2, and you can see that we're currently in a neutral market condition, but the two positions that we have left in the portfolio are st still being held, managed on their stop loss criteria. The system has generated an alert that we see in the bottom left corner, but also listed in the action items that COO has hit its stop. So the RoboTrader is helping us trade our plan. I can act on the alerts that it sends me. I can also execute multiple alerts at the same time and generate order tickets right inside the program. Once I've selected the alerts that I want to act on, I click Place Orders Now and it opens an order ticket. It shows me the trade details and gives me a chance to modify them if I wish. When I'm ready, I click Preview Orders. It updates with any changes that I made, and when I click Place Order, it transmits the order to the brokerage. And it reconciles the order with the brokerage, automatically synchronizing my brokerage and Vectorvest accounts. You are completely in control. Rely on the automation as much or as little as you choose. By the way, if you're away from your desktop, you can take the alert on your phone in the Vectorvest Stock Advisory app. Tap on the alert, review the order, and place the trade. RoboTrader continues to synchronize your brokerage and Vectorvest accounts. The Vectorvest system with its fact-based analysis and tools helps you stay on course even as the media storms blow through trading your account more accurately, and letting you focus on the broader aspects of your portfolio and your life. That's how you get rich on autopilot. Thanks for watching. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Now, if you're new to the software or would like to refresh your information about the software, click on this getting started video right here. Thanks to all of your input, here's a YouTube video that we think would be perfect for you. Click right here. If nothing else, folks, just hit the subscribe button right here.